Hello everyone, this is Amar. In this video, we will discuss about one type of fastener that is stud. So in this video, we will see what is a stud and types of stud. So let's start the video. First, we will discuss what is a stud. So stud is nothing but here into the image, you can see this is a stud. So stud is a long cylindrical rod that is threaded on both the side and it is without head means if we take the example of bolt and if we remove the head of the bolt and provide the thread on bolt side then it will simply become a stud so stud is used with the nuts on either side so studs are temporary fastener they are used in assembly which are to be separated frequently so here you can see one image here the application of stud into the stuffing box so this is a stuffing box and these two are nothing but the stud so one threaded end is into the tap hole and other end is receiving the nut so this is a one application of stud that is the stuffing box now let's see the types of stud so first type is the Continuous threaded stud means this stud will have threads on its entire length. So they do not chamfer at its end and they are having threads throughout its length. So they are called as continuous threaded stud. Second type is the tap end stud. So what is mean by a tap end stud? So there is unequal length of thread at its extreme end. If you see extreme end there are thread but they are of unequal length. Okay. So and the middle portion of the stud will remain plain. So that is called as tap end stud. So one end of this tap end stud will go into the tap hole and other end will receive the nut now next example is the double end stud so double end stud are nothing but equal length of thread at its extreme end so there is equal length of thread here you can see equal length of thread at its extreme end and the middle portion will remain plain now this double end stud we see the application of guide pin. So these guide pin are used in dies to align the dies. So to align the dies we are using this guide pin. Upper die and lower die we can align with the help of guide pin which is an example of double end stud. Next is the double end stud with reduced shank. So here you can see the equal length of thread onto its end, extreme end and the middle portion is reduced than the diameter of the stud. So this diameter will be slightly more than the diameter of this middle portion which is also called as shank. Here you can see into this image also. So that is called as double end stud with reduced shank. Next is the welding stud. So here you can see the welding stud. So welding stud will have the nut on its one side threaded end. And the other end is non-threaded. So this other end we can weld to support. So this end can be welded to support. So that's why they are called as welding stud. They are generally used in fabrication of structure. So fabrication of structure will see the use of welding stud. So this is all about the types of stud. Hope you understand this video. Thank you for watching.